So I'd like to show you a uh, web design framework that I've been building, uh, and it's to sort of combine the, wor the worlds of um, fixed width layouts and fluid uh, responsive layouts into one, uh, one unified design language. So right now you can see this is uh, a fluid layout, and uh, if I change my configuration file over here, to uh, pixel-based measure measurements for the modules and gutters, uh, all of a sudden it should I need to save it, and it's uh, it's now a fixed bit width layout. Uh, if I get too small, I'll have to scroll over, um, and if I switch it back again. we're back into a, uh, a fluid grid. So the idea here is, um, you know, to use the same, uh, this is set up as a 12 column grid, you can easily switch it to 24 or 9 or uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. And the same uh, design vocabulary is used throughout it. So let's look at the markup. And you can see it's just sort of a standard uh, HTML page. Uh, there's nothing really fancy going on here. Um, but what this does is it uses SAS, uh, which is a styling, um, a CSS precompiler, to take all of this, um, take all of these this CSS and uh, grid it out. So the the CSS is redefining what the grid is, and then instead of using uh, percentage-based values, it's using pixel-based uh, to, to switch quickly between uh, these different styles of, of layouts. And uh, there's a few other things baked into this. It's really rough. Um, I haven't had too much time to play with it, but uh, you can easily switch color schemes. This So far, I only have uh, complementary, but if I If I change the primary color to red, uh, all of a sudden that changes uh, changes the look of the, the header, and you know I can just type in any value here, and it will create a new color scheme on the fly. And what else you can do with this is uh, you can align the wrapper to whichever side, so right now it's centered, but you can left align it, so as you can see here it's snapped to the left or snap it to the right side. And this is, I'm not touching any HTML, uh, this is all done with SAS and just kind of redefining where the grid is and, and how it behaves based on the inputs that you, you feed into this configuration file. So this is, uh, I ended up posting this on GitHub, it's on github.com slash scottcallum slash universal, universal hyphen grid. Uh, and kind of play with it. It's uh, still in, in its infancy, but you know, hopefully it can help a lot of people out uh, developing these sites. Thanks.